Here we are with Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 16. So yeah, this is the final of Part 1. So I'm interested to see what is the big final for Part 1. Yeah, I'm interested. Can't wait. So if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. <clears throat> oh okay oh she is with them with flock and i guess Aaron. <clears throat> i would guess so mm. oh my god that horse is dead so, how bad does Levi look? Because he was very close. <clears throat> Can he recover from this? I would guess so, right? But, or maybe not? Or did he s see the memories of the other guy? Oh, who is that? Oh, is this one of the titans that he controlled? And it puts him in there to protect him, I guess? Okay, interesting. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, I don't know if Eren is with them right now or not. Right, we only saw Flock and Hanji. And yeah, I'm interested interested to see how Levi looks. He was like right next to him when he exploded. So could he somehow, by some miracle, back off super quickly to evade any damage, any harm, any splinters flying around or explosion that could hit him? Or did he actually get hurt? I don't think that Levi is dead. That would be surprising. I would... Technically, I would guess he should be hurt from this. He was right next to it, right? But then again, it's like anime, right? He could have, like, jumped off the, off the wagon or something in the last second before anything happens and just, like, maybe get a bit hurt by from fall damage or something. I don't know. We will see. But because it's anime, you never know what happened, right? If he's actually impacted from it or if he could get away in the last second somehow by some miracle. Heaven and Earth. Okay. They want to check who is... Are they checking who's like, who they can trust and who they can't? <clears throat> Did Pixis also rank it? Or are they like putting the band, the like cloths on the people that drank the wine? Or maybe not? I don't know. Oh, okay. Without knowing. <coughs> Interesting. <laughs> but why makes a difference 
differentiate those people. Must have a purpose, right? Maybe... Maybe to, like, spread mistrust, right? So that, that they can see, oh, this guy bends the knee after knowing what happened. Yeah, right? What do you mean? And her death is there. <laughs> you had your chance, and now it's too late. I mean, I wouldn't call him a god. I mean, he would hurt them, right? Uh, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> and Armin physically. Yep. Yeah, I guess she doesn't want to hear it. <clears throat> yeah, maybe he just... I mean, I'm still not sure if he really meant what he said. Or maybe he just wants to distance himself from them. To not get them Im involved. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I mean, they don't control him, right? <clears throat> and that's not really their plan to destroy Mario, I guess. Maybe it's part of the plan. But not the main plan. I still don't get it. Why do they say you sided with the demons if they are basically not necessarily against the Eldians, right? Oh boy. Oh ho! Okay. Okay, so it was just him. I mean, we know that she's like cold blooded, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, 
that's the truth. Okay, so it was just this one guy that saw the aliens as demons. And she's like, nope, we are not having that. Okay, so this confusing part got cleared up. Oh, here we go. Here we go, what is he doing? Oh. The Falco card. <clears throat> Help me and Falco is fine. Oh. For a moment I thought, is she also in on the plan of Aaron? But she's not. Or maybe is she in on the... Or maybe is she joining them, maybe? Because it seems like so far we only saw her here, right? No Reiner, no nothing. Okay, maybe she's not here to help. <clears throat> Aaron has his hands in his pocket. Oh. Is he bleeding? Yeah, right. What? Why keep him alive? If he's the enemy. <clears throat> That's why. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that's, I guess that makes sense. But wouldn't it be better to just kill him? This is getting... I'm getting confused. <clears throat> Does she want Smarty to be de defeated? Why tell Gabi to get, to grab a gun and then say don't do anything? Okay, so she kind of wants to join in, right? Okay, so she wants to join in. So she was just bluffing a bit. But I'm still wondering, why tell Gabi to grab a gun... And then tell her, hey, don't do anything. <laughs> okay. So she's alone here. Awesome. I like that. Oh, I start to like peak. No, they don't. No, that's just to keep you in check. And that's the big issue. Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. 
That's what I've been saying the whole time. Oh. Oh, he can control if he wants to recover. She tell him the truth. Hey, I mean, at least they don't just kill him, right? They can't live their lives until they die and then it just stops. I mean... <clears throat> I think I talk about after the uh, about after the episode. It's still rough. Like they only live a few years and then they die, right? <clears throat> it's really a tough thing again like but wait wait a second really really Maybe it's part of battles that, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if it's true that he is like moved by it or if it's maybe part of battle that is like because of which he thinks this way or if that is like his true feelings. Damn. I mean, she is right, right? That's what I've been saying the whole time. But I wonder if... But I wonder if... Peek is maybe double agent. Maybe she just tries to get behind his back. Right? I don't know if she's really on his side. Or if she just wants to like invade and get information all that stuff. And I missed the part I have to rewatch that too. Because I'm talking. Oh, really? Okay. And she didn't do anything against Zeke for four years? <laughs> oh boy.
Hmm. All the guns pointed at her. Oh, maybe is she jumping off? Okay, she played with them. Reiner? Oh, Jaw Titan. Oh, his legs. And now he can't transform. He can still transform? What? How? I think you can't if you're hurt. You have to recover. Dude, is this the end? Man, peak, come on. But what can they do against him? <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> Why are his eyes so wide? I mean, when we from season two, one to three, we knew he had like these green eyes, right? His normal eye color, but now in season four, his eyes in the Titan form are like this whitish, not just blue anymore or green anymore. Okay, that was the episode, the final episode of part one of Attack on Titan season four. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed that Peak was basically a double agent, right? Um, That it was all just to get in a, into a position where she can lure him out. <clears throat> um, I would have liked it if she if she joined. I mean, it's it's a tough thing, right? Because it's basically at this point you could say that Aaron is maybe the bad guy, right? He's not the good guy anymore, <clears throat> and so I basically would root for the bad guy. And I think right now I'm more on Aaron's side than on the other people's side, whatever side you want to consider. If Marley or the other Eldians like uh, Mikasa and Armin and all those those that are like in the military. I think I'm more on Eren's side right now. I don't know why. <clears throat> I just like this version of Eren, kinda, and I like the scheming and the plan pretty much. Like, it's, it's, it's interesting, right? And I think that's why I'm on his side, even if it's kinda like the bad side. Um, <clears throat> and I mean... Technically, it's like this. That's what I wanted to say now. It's the end, not in the middle of the episode, because it's like it's a long, uh, it's a long thing. Basically, I talk about now is because there are two sides to this whole thing to like basically get rid of all the aliens by <clears throat> making it so that they can't give birth, right? On one side, it's good, right? I mean, you take one race out of the world that is basically feared and hated by all because of what they can do, right? And so you basically, and in the same, in the, in the same move, you take away the suffering that they have the whole time by being like <clears throat> hated and attacked the whole time, right? Or used as tools. Um, so I, I, I think you can not say it's a good thing, right? And it's not that they just kill the aliens and are like, okay, we just kill you right now. 
and you just die and that's it, right? They just make it so they can't give birth. So all the aliens that are still living can just live their life peacefully until the end, basically. I mean, you can maybe say it's not peaceful, right? Because they're taking the chance of giving birth and having kids and everything is taken away, basically. <clears throat> but otherwise, they can live a peaceful life. Let's just say that. And live until they die a normal death and that's it, right? Um, and in the in the same breath, they keep precautions to keep everyone else at bay, so that no one comes to to Paradise Island and starts and tries to start a war with them and try to just kill them all by keeping uh, the the trump card basically that they say, okay, we have here royal blood and the founding titan, and if you come to our place to our island and try to attack us, we just start rumbling and knock you all out. Um, so they keep like this threat on their throats, basically, with that. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, on in the same breath, again, it's also a bad thing because you take away the chance of giving birth and you basically doom a whole race to death, right? They have no chance of getting away from that, basically, and they are doomed to die and basically everything that they are is gone and will never be again. So it's this two-sided coin again, right? Where it's like, on one side, I can see that it's, that it's actually a good thing. And I mean, we saw many that now said, that's a good thing. They say, hey, that's a good cause. That's the right thing to do. But obviously not everyone will say that. Some will say, hey, this is a bad idea. That's bad. That's not good at all. Like with Armin... Like I said, I'm I'm confused if what Armin says is true that he is moved. <clears throat> I wonder if that's truly how Armin feels. Or maybe just because he is a Titan now, right? <clears throat> or maybe it's part of Berthold that takes that's like ingrained in him now. <clears throat> or maybe he just says it as like a fake, right? But if it's a fake, then it, I think it was kind of weird because it led to nothing right now, right? So I'm a bit confused if he really meant that or not. It seems like that many people that are like titans that can't transform, well, I mean, maybe not many, but feel that way, right? So the researcher that uh, Zeke knew that had the beast titan, he felt that way. Zeke feels that way. Aaron feels that way. Armin maybe feels that way. He's a titan too. So <clears throat> it feels like those that actually can transform into titans or are titans or whatever actually feel that way because they know how it is maybe and those that are just aliens that never were titan or are not at, or are not at risk of being titans they don't feel that way or some that just don't want that don't feel that way right it's like it's it's a mixed bag right um and like i said on one side you can say it's a good thing on one on the other side you can say it's a, it's a bad thing obviously um so it's like really mixed and because of that i feel like it's really hard to say is Aaron the good guy? Is he the bad guy? I think it just is a point of perspective, basically. Um, and yeah, it's just like the whole season four, it's, it's rough, right? Because now we have all these things going on. Because in season one to three, it was basically all just, um, yeah, we are, the, we are people here. We're living on this island or we didn't even know that it was an island, right? We just knew we live here behind these, these walls. And are attacked by titans and suddenly these two weird titans come around and destroy the world and and threaten our peace here and want to kill us <clears throat> and just everything gets worse and then we unravel everything to the point where we find out okay we are just on an island and across the sea um are people that actually want us dead <clears throat> that don't like us that hate us and since then basically end of season three season four it's just like we have the people that are on Eren's side, we have the people that are against Eren, we have the Malayans and all that other stuff going on. Like basically outside of Paradise Island, the whole world hates the Eldians basically. And in Malay, they're they just used as tools and once they lose their purpose because they are not strong enough to be used as weapons anymore, they are just, they, they will be killed. They won't keep them around. 
And in that regard, Peak was right. They can't trust them. They, the Malains are bad. They won't be kept around forever. I mean, they say, oh, you're honorary Malains, but that's just to give them hope, right? To say, okay, if you are nice and all, and you become a, ty a warrior and all that stuff, then you are honorary Malains, but you still live behind walls and have like basically no freedom, but you are treated better than the Malains that are not honorary. So it's just a facade to keep him in check, to give him at least a little better, a life that is a little better than the other uh, aliens and yeah, just keep him in check and use him basically. So Peak was right. So yeah, like I said, I'm a bit disappointed that Peak turned out to be a double agent <sighs> because like I said, I'm right now more on, on Aaron's side because it's so interesting and everything. Um, And because of that, I would like it, I would like if more people join Aaron's side, right? If if like Peak would join, if Gabi maybe would come around and join his side. But I guess Gabi will never be on his side, I would guess. It would be interesting if Gabi gets to a point where she actually joins his side. Um, but I, I guess we will see. And yeah, interesting and very much a cliffhanger, right? We start basically the fight now, the, the Malayans attack Eldian. Which is very interesting because so many Eldians, like the military, are like basically in check or behind bars and everything and un can't do anything or not much. And now we get attacked and so only a limited amount of people can actually fight basically and it's like complete chaos. Ugh, yeah, this will be interesting. Especially now how Eren will fight basically against Reiner and uh the jaw titan galliard and maybe also the car titan peak and <clears throat> yeah this will be a thing right especially because i'm that 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 was like super surprising the jaw titan bit off Aaron's legs how could he transform i think i mean didn't they always say that you only can transform if you are fully recovered if you are only ha if you're having like some kind of damage or wound and you're not fully healed then you can't transform that's why z couldn't transform or maybe Aaron is maybe now so well trained in titan in his titan ability that maybe he can even transform if he has like no legs as long as he has enough body parts left maybe he can maybe instantly uh, he maybe can still transform maybe mm. that's interesting why that is got me a bit like confused right because it's again something different from what we know or thought we knew um and i wanted to say something but i forgot it right now do i remember it uh i don't think so i could sit here for a few minutes and think about it if i remember it or not Oh, what did I have in mind? I talked about Eren being able to transform while his legs were gone, and then it came into my mind that I wanted to mention something, and now it's gone. Nope, I think I forgot it. And yeah, also, um... Something other, something different. Um, we didn't saw Levi, right? What happened with Levi? We didn't see if he survived or what. Um, but yeah, I think I keep keep it at that for now because it's eleven and a half minutes. Jesus Christ! These videos today have like lots of uh, review time, thoughts time. Um, but yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.